arrival home of Al Brick, cameraman who filmed the Pearl Harbor attack. He was for 20 months with our Pacific fleet. In the war crisis, Movie Tone sent him to Hawaii and kept him there. So he was on the scene when the treacherous blow was dealt. The fleet had been on maneuvers. Two task forces, after extensive operations at sea, steamed back to their Pearl Harbor base. This was during the final period of the phony Japanese peace negotiations, when staging a farce of talking peace, the Far Eastern double crossers had their ships and planes on the way for the sneak punch. Their crime was well prepared as ships went on to Pearl Harbor. And then the seventh, in the surprise assault, American warplanes were caught on the ground and bombed. Most of them were disabled. That crippled our air opposition to the Japs and their planes were able to swarm over the harbor and bomb and torpedo the warships there. A bomb hit caused the Arizona to blow up. The attack was carried out by Jap torpedo planes together with dive bombers and horizontal bombers coming in waves. In a chance hit, a bomb went down a smokestack of the Arizona and exploded the forward magazine. With the stricken vessel, we see the battleships Tennessee and West Virginia hit and on fire. There were eight battleships in the harbor. All were damaged by the bomb and torpedo attack. Five battleships were damaged seriously enough to be useless for some time. This is the statement by the Navy a year after Pearl Harbor. Now the facts can no longer benefit the enemy and are made public. And these movie tone pictures made by cameraman Al Brick are released by the Navy. <laughs> Battleship Maryland on fire and the Oklahoma has capsized. And in the bomb and torpedo attack, high explosive hit the West Virginia. And the Tennessee seen in the background. The West Virginia has sunk in shallow water and rests on the bottom. The Maryland damaged and the capsized Oklahoma. Battleships were moored at docks in pairs and the outer ones were torpedoed. The Nevada, attacked while steaming to leave harbor, was beached so as not to block the entrance. Destroyers, three were hit. One is back in action. Two have been partly salvaged. Eighty-six ships were at Pearl Harbor, and a large proportion of them were hit. The damaged aircraft is seen at Ford Island, where the motion picture camera surveys the wreckage of seaplanes. Eighty Navy planes were destroyed. The crippling of air forces at Pearl Harbor was a major factor in the treacherous surprise plotted by the Far Eastern sneak puncher. Hickam failed. In all, 97 Army planes were destroyed, according to the figures in the plain spoken disclosure given by the United States government to the American people about the facts of Pearl Harbor. This is the record of what President Roosevelt has called the day that will live in infamy. Infamy that this nation is avenging. The repair work begins. Damaged airplanes first. Many are quickly put into shape again and air replacements arrive. The plane losses are made good in a few days. The Pearl Harbor story begins with havoc and continues with an epic of replacement and repair. <laughs> Damaged battleships are repaired. The West Virginia, the Tennessee in the background, an immense amount of work is required and is provided. Other ships are salvaged and will steam forth to fight again. The Nevada, expert salvage to put that sea giant in action once more. And the West Virginia is being raised from the bottom of the shallow harbor. The saving of the battleships is like a miracle. And here we see battleships coming back as the Japs thought they never would come back. California is raised. 
Torpedo explosions cause ships to settle to the bottom. Water is pumped out to float the mighty craft. And a drama of refloating. The mine layer, Oglala. She sank below the surface. Now pontoons bring her up. And you see the vessel emerge and right herself. A reappearance after weeks below the water like a symbol of the repair of the harm done by the enemy. West Virginia has now been salvaged to a point where she is ready to go to the dry dock for final refitting. Much highly technical work remains to be done, and they do it. They're in the dry dock. The West Virginia is completely reconditioned, and presently the great battleship steams out to rejoin the fleet. The California is towed to dry dock. In the repair of the battleships, American naval engineers took occasion to install new improvements in the vessels. Repairing them, the technicians improved them, modernizing the battleships. Of this, the damaged California is an example. They make her a more effective fighting unit than ever. Out of the dry dock comes a better battleship. The Navy tells us that most of the ships hit at Pearl Harbor have been repaired and are in action again. Here we see the vivid proof, the California steaming out for action. Cheers aboard the Nevada as that damaged and now repaired battleship proceeds out to sea to rejoin the fleet. Naval might of the United States a year after Pearl Harbor is greater than ever. New powerful ships have been launched and the fleet is avenging the Jap infamy with victories like the Battle of the Coral Sea, Midway, the Battles of the Solomons, paying the Japs back for Pearl Harbor. How does it feel to be home? Uh, it's good to get home, but I feel like all the other boys that are out there. We won't be satisfied until we slap the Japs right off the map.